One of the advantages of getting into photography once you're over 50, at least for me, I became a morning person. So I can get out when there's still, you can still hear the birds. It's so beautiful. Can you hear that? if you can see this, but with the bridge over it and the water flowing beneath it, uh, there might be something here. I moved up a little bit because I'm thinking from up closer, you get more of the water and less foreground and, and you get these shadows on the ground, which are really nice. Um, I made sure that my camera is in the shade, so hopefully I won't get any glare off the lens. But I think I'm going to need my wide angle because I'm so close, I don't think I can get all the bridge. So I'm going to switch lenses here. The other thing that I've really been meaning to try is I have this new neutral, oops, there goes my bag, this new neutral density filter. And what I'll be able to do then is slow down the shutter enough that maybe I can smooth out that water. And I think that would be really pretty. This thing is pretty cool because when you start taking it off, it has this rubber thing that you're holding onto. So A, you don't drop it. And B, when you're putting it onto the camera, you have a good grip and you don't get your fingers all over the lens. So, Oh. Of course, if you're me, you'll still drop it. So see, you can put it right on and then you just peel off this rubber part. And the lens, neutral density lens filter is on there. I'm still on aperture priority. So that was at a half a second. And it smoothed out the water just a little bit. I'm gonna try nine just for fun. The other nice thing about this filter is as you turn it, you can feel the clicks. So you know exactly what you're setting it on. A lot of them don't do that. And so you're kind of like wishy-washy whether you're setting it at nine or eight or 8.4 or, I don't know. I just, I just really like this filter. By the way, Wisconsin got that for me for Christmas cause she's awesome. So that slowed it to one second. I am gonna try it at a tighter, at F11 instead of F8, just to see how the focus works. So here's the final image. It's a blend of a faster shutter to get the bridge and the trees nice and sharp, and a slower one second shutter for the water. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Until next time, enjoy your adventure. Peace.